video is definitely under the category of like things I wanted to film just for me out of my own sheer curiosity because I hate a bra. If there is one thing about me, I hate a bra. Bras are the bane of my existence. If I can get away with wearing like a bralette or even just like a shelf bra in something, I am the happiest girl in the world. I'm literally wearing a bralette right now. Like I just hate wearing regular bras. They're so uncomfortable to me. And so I was scrolling through Instagram one day, probably like a year or so ago, and I came across this ad for a brand called Classy Network with a K. And it showed all of these different tops that have shelf bras in them or built-in bras. And I was like, that sounds interesting. And I've had it on my list. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do an order of things that I would normally wear, but try to get like a variety of different things and see if these Instagram ads are worth it, see what the quality is like, see if it's worth the price, see what the actual built-in bra is like. Like, and if you are also a person who hates wearing bras like me, then maybe this will be an option for you. If all of my tops in my closet and just everything I own could have a built-in bra in it, I would be the happiest person in the world. And I know it's definitely not for everyone. Some people really prefer wearing bras. They're comfortable. They have no issues with them. And if that's you, I am so happy for you. I really am. But this one may not be for you or it may be, I don't know. This isn't sponsored at all whatsoever. I am paying for all of this with my own money. So if you want to check any of these things out I will have links for all of these items down in the description box below but yeah I think I ordered nine different items to try on so we definitely have a lot to cover but we'll see because I am a harsh critic so let's go ahead and jump into a bunch of different tops and bodysuits and even dresses and everything in between that all have built-in bras in them God bless. All right, so this is the pile of everything that I ordered to test out and every single one of these has a built-in bra. I have never been more excited in my entire life. There's a lot of this to cover. So we're gonna start right off the top. This first one, this is the one that I've had my eye on the longest. This is what made me place this order. And this is an off the shoulder built-in bra top and it's incredible. So what they call it is a brammy, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's like a bra and a cami mixed together. And this off the shoulder shoulder one is amazing because anytime I wear something off the shoulder I have to wear a strapless bra with it and it's just not my favorite feeling in the entire world. I am constantly like fishing and hiking up my strapless bra and it's just very annoying. So um this sounds like it's the best thing in the world and we're literally gonna try it on right now. This is called the off the shoulder brammy. I got all of these items that I'm gonna show in this video in an extra large because it says they were true to size. This retails for $45 so pretty expensive for a top but if you think about what it's for it's kind of nice you know so okay let's see what this one looks like on all right so oh my god i love it hold up got to adjust okay so here is what the brammy looks like it's very stretchy and then there are insertable removable pads in there like little cups it's interesting. So overall, I think it is so cute. I did notice though, right when I put it on and looked in the mirror that I like really had to kind of adjust the boobies and sort of like make sure they were in the right place. But it is so cute. Let me tuck it into my jeans. It's long enough to tuck into my jeans and you know, have it look like a bodysuit and it looks amazing. Here is like a good look at the built-in bra part of it. One thing I will say is right away I'm noticing there isn't that much support under here. It's not very tight. It's actually quite like loose and stretchy and spandexy. But I do think that this material would be great for moisture wicking and then you can kind of, you know, move the pads around if you will. So this is just my first impression. Um, you can take the pads out if you want to. I do worry that it would be way too thin and then I would just be nipping like crazy, but I don't know. I do think right off the bat that I am kind of sold. At first I was like, is this top gonna be too small? But it actually fits great. And now I'm worried that this little bra thing isn't gonna be tight enough. Cause I, I would like maybe just a tiny bit more support, but we're gonna continue on. I will still absolutely keep this and wear this because I just think it's so cute. The material feels amazing. Kind of similar to me to like the Skims rib material. Very, very soft, very stretchy and very comfy. Like this outfit 
is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. So I mean, okay, we're not gonna like go too long on each of these because there's a lot, but so far I'm very impressed. Let's move on. This is another thing that I saw a lot on the Instagram ads and it's just one of their simple tank tops. This is a white tank. I love wearing a white racerback tank top, but I hate my bra strap showing. And again, hate strapless bras. This is called the racerback Brahmi tank, Brammy. This retails for $29.99 and we're gonna see what it looks like. This one is interesting interesting because it doesn't seem to have like an actual shelf like this one like that comes out like that this one just looks like it's sort of just built into the top like there's no bit of support underneath the girls it just kind of goes all the way down and there's little cups so we'll see let's try it on all right so here is this one it actually looks really really good like i like the way it looks a lot but i will say this runs a little small it's quite snug i would definitely need to size up in this and there's no support underneath here. It's literally just top and then boob under there. So that's kind of frustrating. And I do feel like I need to like adjust these cups cause they're riding up way too high, which probably means that this top is just too small for me, but it is really, really cute. Like I love the way it looks. Look how adorable that is. I guess I'm just a little confused cause if it's got, if it's supposed to all have like a built in, then why doesn't it have support underneath? It's kind of just like wearing a, braless tank top with like little boob pads that stay in place. So that's kind of interesting, but I love the cut of this. Like I love the way the tank top looks. I just don't know if it would give me that like under boob support that I was looking for and that like sweat protection. It is double lined. So it has a lining on the inside that's almost kind of like a bathing suit material. So it would be amazing for moisture wicking. I definitely need to look into this in some other colors because they have like darker colors, which I usually avoid because of sweat. So I might need to test out some other colors because this is really cute, but it is too small. It's a little bit interesting that it doesn't support underneath, but it is a cute little white tank top. So let me know your thoughts, but I don't know if it's worth $30 for me. So let's move on. Okay, now this one I am excited about. This one is called the Knit Square Neck Brammy and it's $42. I got it in a size extra large. I have noticed that all of these have that kind of like bathing suit lining inside and this one does have a shelf bra, so that's great. This is kind of more of like a sweater material, like a knit material. And I think this is so cute, especially with like a little square neckline. So let's put this one on and see what it looks like. Um. Okay, cute. All right, so again, same with the first top and actually kind of the second one as well. You do sort of have to adjust the cups to get them to the place that you want them to be for just that initial kind of like moment and then really mess with the underneath like the shelf bra, but it looks so cute. And the fact that this is a knit material, but it has that sort of moisture wicking, boob sweat collecting material underneath is amazing. So here is where the shelf bra ends. You could pull it down a lot further if you wanted to, but I kind of like, you know, tuck it in there for boob sweat reasons. I love this. I think it's so cute. And the fact that I could wear a top like this and not have to worry about a bra is amazing. So here's what it looks like from the side. Definitely has some decent shape to it. I will say this is an issue that I run into quite frequently because I do think I have smaller boobs for my actual size. So when I try on things like square neck dresses or things that are made for people of my size, the boobs are always too big. Um, the chest is just always a little bit large. So that's sort of what I'm running into with this. And it does feel like the cups are almost a little bit too big maybe, but I wouldn't really want to size down any. So that's just kind of a personal issue that I've noticed that I run into, but it's so cute. I'm definitely hanging on to this one. It's adorable. And I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but the fact that I can just wear this out and not have to worry about wearing a bra and I can just wear this and nothing else. I don't have to worry about like making sure I'm tucking my straps underneath or adjusting a strapless bra all day. I may have to adjust this a little bit, but it's part of the top. I am obsessed with this and I need it in multiple colors. It is so cute. You could tuck it in. It would be so cute with skirts, adorable with jeans. This will definitely be heavy in the rotation for me this summer. Obsessed. Okay, speaking of summer, I wanted to try one of their tube tops. I didn't realize, however, that this is essentially like a tankini. Like this 
is bathing suit material. So I'm very confused by the feeling of it. But this one's called the Seamless Tube Top Brammy. It's $15 and I got it in an extra large. So we're gonna put this one on. It really truly is giving me bathing suit top energy, which honestly, this would be a really cute bathing suit top. So maybe we'll try it out. Okay, and here is what this one looks like. I actually surprisingly like it way more than I thought I would. At first I was like, I don't know about the shape here up front, but I do really like it. And I also do think it would be adorable as a bathing suit top so you know kind of a win-win this is what the shelf bra looks like so same as the other ones besides the white tank top nice and soft stretchy definitely moisture wicking i would not have to worry about sweating in this thing at all so maybe i actually need to get a few more of these because that's part of the reason why in the summertime I stray from like colorful tops because I'm just a sweaty girl you know I'm excitable I like chit chatting I like yelling and sometimes I sweat as a result I'm also nervous and it's just who I am so I mean this might be a good solution for that and for the price it's not that bad I really really love this cobalt blue color I have a cobalt blue trucker hat that I think would look adorable with this and like I really wasn't expecting to love this and have it be this like sort of billow loose flowy kind of silhouette and I love it okay next up we're gonna try one of their t-shirts this is called the bamboo crew neck t-shirt it retails for $40 which is kind of a lot for a t-shirt and it also has like a normal you know t-shirt neck opening but then when you look inside the shirt there's like a whole separate lining on there it's partially sewn in but it's very strange when you look down at it and you see that there's like so much going on on the inside. It's almost like a an additional lining. This is a pretty kind of rosy pink material. This was called ballerina pink, but in person it's a lot more mauve. Although I guess you could argue that's ballerina pink as well, but it does have an actual shelf bra. It does seem very loose. Like there's, there's no support at all whatsoever. So we'll see about that. Let's try it on and figure it out together. Okay, I'm gonna be so honest. I think I hate this, but that's okay. We can move forward. You may totally disagree. I don't think it looks bad, by the way, at all. I just don't think it's worth it. And this shelf bra situation is just like a, a very loose sort of tank top underneath that does have the cups, which is great, but I just like personally wouldn't go for this. Although maybe if it was a white tee, I would like it a little bit better, but I would just be afraid of the boob sweat that's really what it is like that's one of the main reasons that I wear bralettes all the time I wear like a really loose bralette to sleep because I just don't like the feeling of skin on skin and then having it get sweaty but like I don't think this looks bad at all let me do like a little millennial French tuck I do think this is a really cute t-shirt now that I'm looking at it more and more I'm like I think I love it actually I think I changed my mind I don't know if I would keep it or not but I do get the idea I guess I just don't really understand if you're gonna build a brand around having built-in bras like why wouldn't it have some more support you know what I mean like isn't the whole point to be able to support the girlies. I get that it's also for shape and for other things like nipple coverage and, and all of the different details that go into it. But I don't know, for me, it's like, I would rather just wear a bralette that has some padding in it and then a t-shirt over it. But it is really cute. This is what it looks like from the side. This is what the support is looking like. It's nice, it's got a nice shape to it. I would say it definitely runs true to size. So far, everything has been true to size except the white tank top. And like, I just glanced over in the mirror and I'm like, wait, this is actually hella cute. So maybe I will have to hang on to it. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, we're gonna do one more top and then we're moving on to like body suits and then we also have a dress. So this one is called the Ribbed One Shoulder Brammy. This is in the color Shell and it retails for $29.99. And this one just came in the bag with the cups taken out. So I'm assuming you just have the option to have them in or out. And it's the same as when you get like a sports bra or a bathing suit from the store and it has those little, you know, holes in the sides. That's how you get the pads in and out. They are a decent thickness to the pad as well. So here is what one of the inserts looks like, you know, a pretty good shape. So, all right, let's, uh, let's shove this thing in here. We may be here for a while. Oh, actually, no. Okay, yeah. I like that there is a seam down the middle. 
So here's what the inside of it'll look like. Um, I like that there's a seam down the middle to prevent them from like moving all over the place. That's probably very useful when you wash this as well. Oh God, okay. I do like that these have a little bit more thickness to them as well because it doesn't feel like they're gonna like fold over and lose their shape when you try to, you know, take them out, put them back in, whatever. What is the washing instructions for this? Machine wash cold, do not tumble dry. And then I think you just lay it out. So throw it in the washer and then hang it to dry. So this is what it looks like like we're gonna try it on the shelf bra ends with the top same as that tank top did so I don't know how I'm gonna feel but we'll see all right so here it is on again runs kind of small I will say like not at the bottom here but just kind of at the at the top and like the armpit feels a little bit tight but here is what this one is looking like I will say it's quite short it's more of like a bra like a sports bra maybe a slightly long line sports bra but not really and so here is where the support is just right here and it doesn't really give you much in this department but the cups look phenomenal i will say like i do love the look i don't know if i love this color on me and the cut is adorable i just wish it was longer so maybe if they had this in like a bodysuit which they might i'll have to check that would be a better option for me but it's just a little bit tight especially under the armpit right here and i just don't love the support but i do love the lining underneath this it's just such a good option for sweat i'm like that's genius truly so points to them for that absolutely i don't think i'm gonna hang on to this one but i wanted to try it on in case it was somebody else's cup of tea because not everybody likes all the same stuff which is the beauty of life but you know this is more of like a bra situation for me this is like a summer lounge by the pool not as much of like a everyday top like i would certainly never feel comfortable wearing this so not my favorite but still very adorable and I do like the shape I don't love the support all right moving on we are gonna go with a couple of body suits this one's called the bamboo high neck brahmi suit brahmi suit I don't know how to say it size extra large it was on sale it's originally $45 I got it for $33.75 and I do love like a high neck situation and any kind of tank top that has a high neck you have to wear either a strapless bra or have your bra straps out so I thought this would be a great option does this have a shelf bra it doesn't. So it does have like the built-in. Here, I'm gonna like turn it inside out a bit. It does have the built-in, but it doesn't have a shelf. It's okay, we're gonna persevere, but it really, this like um, moisture wicking lining goes all the way down, like even in the crotch. So I'm not gonna knock it until I try it. So let's see what this looks like on. All right, here's what the bodysuit is looking like. It looks amazing. I'm obsessed with this, but why don't we just have a shelf? I don't understand, that would make it perfect. I'm gonna look into maybe just like the tank top version of this. I do believe they have like a bamboo crew neck tank top but what i do know is it looks so cute like this is the perfect little bodysuit i'm obsessed with how it looks i love the high neck i think it looks so cute with the necklace i love the shape that it gives me here the cups are cupping i do have to always readjust them because the cups are like up here and i'm like oh bless you <laughs> I wish, but they're more down here. But like, it just looks so nice. It hangs perfectly on the body. So maybe I might have to hang on to this. We have another bodysuit to try after this one that's long sleeve. So maybe it'll turn out differently. But if I'm being a harsh critic, which I am, I would literally give this a 10 out of 10 if it had the shelf, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna give it like a 7.5, but it's still really good and I may keep it, we'll see. But for this other bodysuit, this one is called the long sleeve Henley Brammy suit in the color navy. It's $48. So pretty pricey. It definitely has that sort of like long john material, but it is very stretchy and it does have the lining all the way through. Same as this one that I have on. This one does have the built-in, but again, no shelf bra. It's just the built-in and it goes like all the way down. You can see that there's a seam right there, but that doesn't, that doesn't really do anything in the support department. So like the impression that I'm getting so far is just that the, the bra thing is more for aesthetics, like to give you a round shape and to have somewhere to put the cup, like cover your nipples, things like that, but not much for support so far. I have no idea how this one's gonna go though. So you never know till you try. All right, and I mean, this looks incredible i will say like it looks fantastic and i have no complaints about it it's just i don't know about not having something under here it's such a weird feeling but also when i'm wearing this it doesn't 
feel like I need something under there. But I wonder if I was like moving and grooving and I started sweating that I would feel that. I'm not sure. I love that these have this lining. Like the t-shirts and the tank tops that have this lining on the inside is genius. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like this just looks so cute and it gives a very 90s look to me. Anything Henley is just so 90s. Like I want to tie a flannel around my waist. So cute. I love the navy color. I love the way it fits. I would say it's true to size. It's very, very cute. When I put it on, I was like, ooh, is this gonna be too small? But it's perfect. The bodysuit doesn't feel weird down there. Also, sometimes I just leave it. So I just have like a flap in the back and the front, but that's totally personal preference. And I just think it's so cute. I just, it's the only thing is the shelf. When I look at it in the mirror, I'm like, oh hell yeah, like this looks so cute. But if I'm feeling any kind of sensory thing that I don't like, whether that be sweat under my boobs, whether that be thigh chafing, whether that be a material that I don't like against my skin, like I cannot think about anything else. I am so, so sensitive to that. So I don't know if it would bother me over time, but like looking at it right now, I'm like, damn. It looks cute. Here's what it looks like from the side with the shape and everything. And I mean, it's just so adorable. I just don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to not sound like a broken record. <laughs> Please feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments and whether or not that would bother you. But to me, it does. It does bother me a little bit. So we'll see about this one. We have a dress to try on last but not least. And I'm very curious about this one. I figured we had to try a dress because that's just so interesting to me. This is called the T-shirt mini Brammy dress in the color black. It's a size extra large and it's $58. So I think this is the priciest thing. I loved the sort of like, almost like a ringer tee type of style. It's got the white lining around the collar and the sleeves. I do think that's cute. Let's see what the inside looks like. The inside is similar to the t-shirt where it almost has like a tank top sewn into the shirt. Do you see this? Let me turn it inside out. Okay, so here is the inner lining. So it doesn't have any support at all whatsoever. This is the bottom of the shelf bra. So we'll see, I'm gonna shove this back in itself and we're gonna put it on and see what it looks like. All right, and then last but not least, here is the dress and it's so much cuter than I thought it was gonna be. It's kind of hard to show you cause I do have my underwear on, but here is where the little bra thing lies and you can see it's just not, it's kind of flimsy, but I don't know if that would bother me. Like I love the material of this. It feels so nice. Very, very stretchy. Doesn't seem see-through to me at all. I do have black underwear on. That was just coincidental. But it is a really, really cute t-shirt dress and it does come in other colors. It's not as much of a like t-shirt dress that kind of goes out like this at the bottom. It is a little more form-fitting. It's not bodycon by any means. I would still say it's true to size. This is an extra large, but it's definitely like slightly more form-fitting, but I don't know if I mind that. I think this with just some converse would be so cute for summer. I don't know if I'm gonna hang on to this one. It is really, really cute, but it's just not something that I really need in my closet at the moment. So here is what it looks like from the side with the little cups. I'll show you up a little bit closer as well. So here is kind of the shape that it's giving. It is very nice. The cups are exactly the same as in all of the other ones. So they're pretty much identical, but this is a great option if this is what you're looking for. And honestly, overall, I'm pretty impressed with the material of all of these. Like they're all decent quality and really soft and stretchy and buttery. I love that. Also the lining on the inside of a lot of these is so so, so good. I love that there are so many different styles to choose from and different colors. However, I just wish that there was a more emphasis on support. I said that probably for every single thing in this video, but overall, I do really like it. I think I'm definitely gonna hang on to the blue tube top, maybe the first brown bodysuit, and then I think the black square net knitted top. I think I might hang on to that one as well, but overall, pretty impressed. Not bad. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, you can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know if you wanna see any more of these types of themed videos, like dressing for comfort or for convenience or whatever. I do have a video coming up where I'm gonna test out jeans that have elastic waistbands. So that will definitely be coming up pretty soon. But yeah, leave any requests down in the comments below. And as always, all the links will be down there as well in case you're interested in any of these products. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all of my love and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.